بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از محمد عاصم آئی ایم ورکنگ ایز دی باس انجینئر ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ آئی ایم گونا شو یو ہاؤ یو کین ایزلی اسپن اپ یور الاسٹک سرچ کلسٹر ان اے ڈبلو ایس انوائرمنٹ اسپیشلی ان کوبرنیٹیز یو کین یوز اے ڈبلو ایس ای کے ایس کوبرنیٹیو کوبرنیٹی سروس اور یو کین یوز دا کاپس ٹو ڈپلوائی دا کوبرنیٹیو کوبرنیٹی سروس Uh, in any environment uh, this tutorial is for any kubernetes environment either uh, uh, it should be in uh, i mean in aws tcp or uh, in your local environment or uh, microsoft azure so uh, the point is that you have to just uh, simply hack the uh, storage yaml or you have to do some changes in the storage yaml file Uh, this is set up according to the AWS. Let me show you guys. Uh, so the cluster is going to be highly available and you will see that um, the cluster uh, with multi-AZ deployments uh, for high availability and as far as the uh, Kubernetes service, I'm using the EKS service. Uh, uh, If you watch my previous tutorials regarding the EKS, uh, you will find uh, that um, uh, I've already provided the code with regard to the uh, EKS service. So this code is also uh, publicly available in the in my public repository. So regarding the EKS, I'm not going to show you uh, because I've already made video. If you want to uh, watch that video, uh, I've already provided uh, uh, that video in my video description. So uh, this is the Elasticsearch. Uh, you can, I will provide this link uh, for you guys to, you know, simply use this uh, Elast for the deployment of Elasticsearch cluster in Kubernetes. So uh, what you have to do, uh, when you uh, i mean uh, have these files of the kubernetes you have to simply use the kubectl uh, 3.8 i have all these files in my uh, in my folder so i'm going to apply this command because I sh i've showed you guys this uh, that um, cluster is already there so Now these are the two nodes, worker nodes, and I will show you the um, uh, volume section as well. And uh, that these volumes, new volumes, uh, are going to be automatically uh, created. Uh, you see, it is creating uh, the volumes are going to be uh, three volume. which are going to be created. Let me show you the commands, some command as well, that what is going on, kubectl, uh, get forwards, get forwards, and the uh, namespaces, I've given it elastic search. So you can use these commands and Uh, okay, misspelled it. That's exact. So uh, one pod is running. So we have seen that one uh, volume is already set up, and in a few moments you will see the second volume because the if I put the watch, I have one W for the watch command. Uh, it is. Uh, let me show you this as well. So uh, what I've created is the stateful set um, for the replication uh, in Kubernetes. We use the stateful cell. It has also other benefits. I mean, sequentially deployed the deployment of pods like the master nodes uh, in the sequence and the names are going to be persistent. Like uh, you see ECS. Zero is the master, ECS cluster one is the slave node. So uh, the set uh, is going to follow the, uh, is, is going to remember the structure of uh, 
remembering the names and, and deploy the cluster sequentially. And I'm going to show you the volumes uh, where it creates the volume. If you see, this is the new volume created of 10 gigabytes. Let me show you the AZ as well, in which it is created. Uh, just a minute. So it is US was uh, US East 1A, and this is availability zone US East 1B. So you see, if uh, I will also uh, uh, destroy one of my pods, and even if the one node is going to be destroyed, the orchestrator uh, going. Uh, is automatically going to create new pod and it will um, set up the uh, it will replicate all the uh, you know data from uh, one master node to other slave or if the master goes down the slave is become the master so uh, it is highly available cluster uh, that is what people uh, usually looking, looking for in the AWS environment because of the high availability, uh, high availability cluster environment. So in a few moments, you will, uh, we will see our uh, cluster is going to be set up. You will see three by three pods. Uh, again, let's spell that. So you will see uh, three ports running and uh, if I just refresh, you will see the third volume is also is going to be there. Like, see it is set up uh, in US first, uh, US East 1B, US East 1A and other is US East uh, 1B. If I go to my instance, if uh, let me show you my instance, uh, one of the instance is going to be in uh, uh, US East 1A and other is going to be US East uh, 1B. So uh, uh, let me um, let me destroy one of this. Uh, also, uh, there is a command for the uh, stateful set. If I remember, kubectl get state uh, state set if I remember I don't know uh, in namespace uh, is elastic search so yes uh, this is the command so you see our cluster is up and running and uh, I've also made a service kubectl uh, get services and in the namespace elastic search so you will see the uh, elastic search service is running and um, and i'm going to i'm going to port forward it uh, into the my machine that me port forward it to port 7000 this is the command for the port forwarding i mean uh, this is the way you can uh, use the port forward and you can use your browser uh, to watch this i mean uh, go to the local host let me open for you guys so this is my browser and i'm using the vm virtual machine and let me show you guys the local host port 7000 so this is my cluster uh, you see this is the latest uh, i guess uh, 7.2 uh, is the latest build uh, is the latest version of the elastic search so it is uh, the part in AWS EKS environment and this is the cluster name so all this stuff is mentioned in the YAML file as well so you see uh, we are able to access it and let me destroy one of my nodes to show you guys 
even uh, it is behind the uh, it is behind the autoscaling group so it will launch another node let me show you that because of the uh, EKS deployment style uh, if you go to the auto scaling groups uh, it's just uh, desired status too so it will launch another but in the meanwhile uh, what we're going to uh, go and see the status of our our uh, pods as well So these are running and let me, if I refresh it, in a few moments it uh, will uh, launch the another uh, node. So I'm again doing this stuff. And if I go to the Uh, volume section of the and just a minute okay uh, this is the volume section uh, of uh, our nodes so it is one us one uh, one b one c um, let it launch another node. It will take some time, definitely. Once auto scaling group uh, will determine that the, uh, the node is down, it will launch another, and definitely it is checking. Uh, it is monitoring the nodes uh, what is the desired set and what is the required and uh, it should be minimum maximum and two instance uh, should be up and running all the time and these are the availability zone so uh, health check is there once the health check uh, is going to be uh, updated uh, because there is a five minute of you know cool down period as well you see uh, then an, another uh, node is launching because of the uh, five uh, uh, minute cool down period 300 seconds so uh, it's waits and then it will launch the another or let's see uh, uh, let's see what our what is the status of our parts uh, are we having the three pods up and running you see uh, and the uh, one of the uh, stuff is goes down but if we go and see uh, refresh our uh, our page there there we are unable to uh, uh, one we are unable to uh, uh, was but it is not because uh, that uh, because the port forwarding was killed uh, uh, the session was killed by me so if I do uh, that it was not actually down uh, the session was uh, killed by me so uh, you can have a separate session uh, for this as well uh, so we will see our uh, our cluster so it is not even go uh, goes down for a for a second as well because one of the pod is also running on on the node uh, us east 1a uh, if i go to the volume uh, section of this okay if i go to the volumes see one is available so which means it was uh, offline and uh, but still uh, what we have that uh, we have to look for the you see 
uh, just a minute. Let me show you that one of the uh, volume is now is attaching again. You see, this volume uh, was in available state and it is now in use. So if I go, uh, I have to kill the session um, because I have to see the status of the pods. So you will see uh, that all our pods are up and running. So this is called the high availability. I mean, in a, if one of the nodes goes down in one AZ, uh, the other AZ is going to pick up that. I mean, um, in US, Virginia, North Virginia, uh, as far as the AZ, we have, uh, I guess, six AZs and we can uh, use the high availability in a way that uh, we can all use the all AZs um, for the high availability. So that's it, uh, guys. Uh, and just to update you, uh, this is the high availability with regard to one region, and we can set up also uh, the region disaster uh, recovery or high availability as well. So that's it guys. Uh, guys, if you like my video, please like and share and uh, please subscribe my channel and share uh, as much as you can. So thank you guys. Uh, have a nice day.